Hey, it's Alexei here from Ace 5 Studios, and today we're going to talk about CM Nodes. It's a really nifty plugin for node based materials in Cinema 4D. So let's get on it. First thing we want to do is we want to go to Plugins and CM Nodes and open this thing up. Now you can press CM Node Editor and you get a little tree thing. You go Edit, Add Tree, and you call this Tree Base 01. And then what we do is we can create a new material here by double clicking and just drag it right in there. And this is our material. And while we're at it, let's make a sphere. Get a middle click so we're sideways somewhere. And let's dock this here as well to make life a bit easier. Okay, so we got our sphere and we got our material applied to our sphere. Now, simple stuff is we can go right click, input, solid color and we can make it pink and plug it in here. Sweet, right? Next step what we can do is let's make a noise. So cinema so you shader cinema 4D and noise. And it's pretty sweet. And then let's go right click and adjust nope channel blend. And to put it in between the pink, you can just click on it here. And then you can click on the blend thing. And let's say we wanted to use a mask. Mask, use mask. And let's plug this into here, into mask. And we probably need another material. So let's go to Control C, Control V, and make this green and yellow and drag this into input B and there we have it we have our materials blending using a mask which is pretty neat but not quite because it's a bit too blurry right now so let's go adjust and curves drag this here on this yellow curve make it yellow and it connects it and then let's sharpen it up a bit nice right And these are just regular C4D curves. There you go. Okay, we got our materials now. That's pretty sweet. But you're like, well, you can do that anyway. But now I'm going to show you a quick example of what I can do with a displace deformer. We can right click here, or we can make a new material here, it doesn't really matter. And let's call it displace. And turn off the color and just turn on, doesn't really matter which one, but let's say bump. And drag it on the sphere. No, but put it underneath the sphere. Before we do that, let me cover something else that's important. If we render now, you'll see it looks different to what it actually looks like in the preview. And that's really important because we should go to our noise material here and click on it and change this from space texture to UV2D. Because now it'll be projected. You get a seam here, but it'll be projected according to UV space, which is really important. And make sure the sphere is standard and let's crank up the segments a bit because now when we render we get the same thing so now that that's covered this displace material we're going to put on the sphere we're going to put it underneath this material so that you can't see it because we don't really need to see this material what we're going to do is we're going to get a displace deformer from here and we're going to put it underneath the sphere and here instead of custom shader we're going to press bump and we're going to drag this material in here. And it's probably a good idea to put this guy in a subdivision surface and then group these guys together. And then probably have to make this edit tool. Oh yeah, because we don't have the material, that's right. It's just a black color right now. We don't have to make it editable, I think. What we do have to do is we have to drag this material into here and then we want to pump this into the bump. Ta-da! We have live displacement. And the cool thing about this is that now if this noise, if I don't like it, I can click on it and I can change it to a different type of noise. As many noises as I want. And it updates both the colors and the displace. And also I can feed this into many materials. So if you have, you know, displace is a bit too strong. And 
also maybe we need to set this to three or even four and that brings to like 50 maybe 100 eh, it's close enough and obviously we can get the curves as well we can control c control v this and plug it in here there we go now we get out and we can adjust these curves however we want them and it updates in the viewport so you know it's pretty sweet so there it is and obviously you can drag this down and it won't displace as much and you can even drag this down drag this one up then you have the opposite pieces coming out and see the materials maintained and it's really neat like the whole node based thing is really nice so there it is that's how this uh, we can also change this to intensity so it goes from the it doesn't push it back in so it only you know anyway that's what node base does and you can attract you can you know attach this to different materials if you have a different material and a different object you just drag it in there and pull that stuff in so there you go you got a six minute tutorial on how to use cm nodes hope you guys enjoyed it uh, before you ask thea render doesn't support it yet but hopefully soon there will be support and then thea will have node based material too Cheers, guys. Don't forget to check out my website if you're watching this on YouTube. It's Alexei from Ace5 Studios.